Okay, over here she has already passed As you embark on this new chapter of your lives, put your future in good hands. Put them in your own. The key is not to worry about being successful, but to instead work towards being significant. The success will naturally follow. As Steve Jobs once said, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. I know I'm so very proud of you guys, and I speak for everyone here, and take a look at that crowd. They're all here loving and supporting you guys, and I know they totally believe in you. My prayer for you is that you keep your mind open, and more importantly, your heart, and as you move through life, don't lose sight of your core values, who you are, what's important in life. So go out in the world and make a difference. Congratulations, class of 2013. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Rudy Mestiz. <laughs> to our families, friends, and Maple staff, I would like to thank you and welcome you all to the 2013 Maple graduation ceremony. And to those of you who thought of me as the nerd kid, Ike Maite Lenvitie Kindilisi Orkove, which is Elvish, like they speak in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and <laughs> I won't translate that right now, but if you really want to know, um, come ask me later. <laughs> As incoming freshmen, we're encountering another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Tom grabs us by the wrist, directs us where to go. That was a quote from a Green Day song. <laughs> I don't know if any of you caught that. <laughs> Some of us will be attending Wasco High School, and others of us are lucky and will be attending Shafter High School. <laughs> <laughs> While we'll be competitors on the fields, we'll always be friends, and we'll always be family. We're all gathered here to celebrate the end of a chapter in our lives and the beginning of a new one. And I would like to share some fond memories I have of my time at Maple. In fifth grade, we had an overnight trip to uh, Windwolves. Um, <laughs> my loving father over there chaperoned on this camp out <laughs> and decided that he would scare the teacher. <laughs> when everyone went to their tents for the night, he waited until it quieted down a bit, crept over to the teacher's tent and produced his best evil laugh. <laughs> Following his laugh was a loud thud as the teacher fell out of her cot. <laughs> Early the next morning, my father was making Blair Witch dolls out of sticks and hanging them from the teacher's tent. <laughs> Needless to say, my dad was not invited back to Windwolves. <laughs> camp Keep was another memorable experience. The hikes and campfire songs were so much fun, but the best part was beating Mr. Cranfield at Tetherwall. Other fond memories, such as the many times I've gotten hit with sports equipment while playing sports, were great. Just, just great. <laughs> I actually one time went into the girls' bathroom and checked to see if I had a Target paint on the side of my head. <laughs> yeah, those were the good times. <laughs> as I have slaved over writing this graduation speech, I've reflected on my eighth grade year, and I've realized that eighth grade is like toilet paper. You don't miss it till it's gone. <laughs> I would like to thank my family for their prayers and being so supportive. For their support has truly helped me be successful in school. I encourage every family here to be supportive of your children and to stand behind them in their education and they too will be successful. Stand behind Maple School, even with the busy work schedule, there is always something that can be done to help our school. And I'd like to give a special thank you to Mrs. Hart for coming to Maple and taking on the challenges Maple has presented her with and being supportive. Mrs. Hart embraces all of us and treats us as her own. And I would also like to thank Google <laughs> and, and my teachers, of course, for, <laughs> for helping me through all my years at Maple and <laughs> being supportive of me when I was shy and encouraging me to speak out and to always do my best. I would love to name off each of you, but that would take a long time. As for my classmates, <laughs> I've known most of you for over nine years. I will miss you. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> you all have in some way helped me to become who I am today. Classmates, I want to say to you, our families are extremely proud of us and what we've achieved. And we can't imagine the sense of relief and joy they're experiencing right this moment. And if this is the only thing you remember from my speech, I would want it to be this. This is a perfect opportunity to ask for money. <laughs> I'll see you, Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Growing up is never easy. We hold on to things that were, wonder what's to come. But tonight, we know it's time to let go of what has been and look ahead to what will be. And ne lu igu venid ven ne me rai, which is once again Elvish, and I'll translate it this time. It means until next we meet, farewell. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thank you.
to Miss Meridian Mestaz. moment. It's now time for me to introduce Mr. Dale Nickel, our board president, who will be presenting the diplomas, if you would come on up. And I'd like to introduce the man responsible for helping your child succeed this eighth grade year, our own exemplary educator, Mr. Keith Jansen, who will be presenting the graduating class. Thank you. The class of 2013, full of energy and capable of excellence in scholastic and athletics. Our students have also been involved in music as well. This year, two-thirds of the eighth grade sang in the choir or learned to play musical instruments. Several of our members were leaders and student council. You finished your eighth grade year with the kind of recognition that has made your parents and the staff here at Maple proud. My prayer is that you'll use the skills and knowledge you have acquired in these years at Maple to positively impact your community, your future schools, and the world for the good. It's certainly been my pleasure to work with these students all year long. Meridian Mestaz. Meridian's been an outstanding student for a very long time. This year is, she has won several academic honors, including Honor Roll All Times Possible, Presidential Award, the Shafter Wasco Masonic Lodge Outstanding Student Award, and the Robert Clancy Award. She is a model student who takes great pride in all that she does. She is also an outstanding artist who won sweepstakes for the eighth grade this year. Next year, it's on to Shafter High. Meridian Mastad. Christina Mulligan.